Hey there, hey there, welcome. Happy, happy Thursday. I am going live today with Del Shine, um, Renee Hayes. I am Del, okay, Del Shine has a super long name, so I had to look at it. <laughs> but I'm going live today with Del Shine so that we can chat about how to earn that additional stream of income to save for your down payment of your new home. Welcome, Katina. Welcome, Del Shine. Del Shine, go ahead and press that button so that I can um, invite you on in so we can so we can let's see so we can chat live okay got it <clears throat> adding you now all right we're gonna get started in a second hey 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 love that red background <laughs> thank you <laughs> I need to put a pop of color behind me. <laughs> How are you today? I am good. I am good. Good. I'm, I'm excited to talk with you. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Good. So for those of you that don't know, I have uh, known Dale Shine for a while online only but i followed so much of what she's doing i love what she's doing she is the budget queen <laughs> <laughs> so when i started receiving so many messages from a lot of people that were not eligible for down payment assistance or people that were waiting until april to um, purchase their home because they wanted to save for down payment i thought well it has to be another way and then I, I saw one of your live videos and I thought, well, they can earn that additional income now <laughs> instead of waiting until the spring. So um, I just jumped right into your inbox and Delshawn was excited to, to, to talk with me today. So thank you, Delshawn. Yes. So Delshawn, let everybody know a little bit about you. Oh my goodness. I am your personal financial coach and I am the, what you say, the budget queen. I love everything about bud. Like I really <laughs> love budgeting because I understand that it is attached to our vision and dreams and goals. And so it's not a cause lay that budgeting, uh, put your life on hold, but actually it gives you the permission to live a life and freedom and so i'm all right. about budgeting i'm all uh, all about slaying those debt monkeys <laughs> i'm a yeah. arthur i'm a mother of a 27 year old millennial uh, <laughs> wow and so all of that good stuff and so i love teaching and really sharing personal financial education with uh, folks women women mostly but uh i've been through the fire i went through paycheck to paycheck living right. or was it pay payday to monday living uh repo right. uh credit score so low i couldn't look up i mean i've been through the fire and so when i understood the power of the budgeting and really sat down and really had those money So when people talk about bud budgeting, it's crazy. No, it is life. Budget is the right. new black. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a good thing. So I'm glad right. you're going to tell us today. Let us know a few tips. And this for everybody that's watching the replay and you're watching now, it's not going to be super long. We want to give you some quick tips that you can get started with quickly uh, to start saving. So you're not waiting an entire year. Um, to buy your new home. So give us a tip, one quick tip about how, uh, oh, maybe a few. Maybe I give how you a pre-assignment pre before I give you the tips okay. because the moment that you, I feel like the moment that you just say it drops in your spirit says, I want to be a homeowner is the moment that you begin to save or generate or create more income. So the moment that it hits your spirit, that one. Mm-hmm. Okay, looks like Delshawn is freezing. Everybody, give give us a second. Let me message Delshawn. I'm gonna message her over on my computer so we can get back started again. <laughs> One second, everyone.
Okay, I'm gonna, let's see. The devil is a liar. I don't know what happened. Right. You were ready to spit that tip yeah, out. And just, the preacher, the that. devil is a liar. See, some, look, right. somebody better get in a home for that. <laughs> <laughs> and so the moment that it hits your spirit, that is the moment that you begin to save or generate or earn income. Don't wait till you get pre-approved. Once right. it hits your spirit, it's time to do these tips. So I talk fast, so I give them seven tips really quickly. <laughs> right? And so okay. I'm always looking at the end in mind and really get in a mindset when we talk about home ownership. Is like, you know, the idea is 20%, right? The idea is like 20% down, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we're saying we're looking at a home for a whole year, to be in our home a year, usually it takes a year to get ready. Uh, to be in right. position to close and everything. And so we're looking at a home, Just I'm just doing some numbers out there of a $150,000 house, right? Maybe not where you live right. at. I can get a nice house for $150,000 here. But, you can right. talk, but I'm just saying, it, you just do that. That's roughly, what, $30,000? That's mm -hmm. like $30,000 mm -hmm. down payment. If you divide it right. by 12 months, that's $2,500 a month. So we can mm -hmm. just say, you know what, if I can earn or save or generate $2,500 a month, right? And so we just mm -hmm. keep that, that's our target. And we can do that consistently right. each month for a whole year that, hey, we mm -hmm. will have that 20% down. So we're looking at the mm -hmm. end, we're working back. And so here's some like seven tips that I just wrote down. I know it's all types of side hustles out there, but really yeah. making sure that it works for you. So I'm always trying to give you options, what you can do. And so mm -hmm. number one is, hey, if you can... Uh, earn OT money, if you have bonuses, if you have, <laughs> you know, a little bit tax return, designate those, those, uh, that money, I call it the win, win money, right? Win money, but right. opportunity money, set that money aside just for your down payment. Right. That it's straight down to where that's number one, because if you're on a job mm -hmm. and they give you options mm -hmm. or, or they offer OT, take it. Remember, we're trying to get in our house. We're trying to get the keys. Larry's trying to right. get the keys. And so it's not no free money. All this is house money. So make sure, number one, if they offer to to you, go ahead and take it. Why go work a part-time job if you can already work extra on the job that you have? That's right. number one. Right. Number two is go ahead and downsize because sometimes we're trying to take old stuff and put it in new stuff and when we get in the, the new house the yeah. old stuff don't look good in the new house so go ahead why are you in your old house or your apartment go ahead and downsize so i'm good about flipping on offer up you know i'm telling you if you don't like it you don't use I it know. you don't need it you can't fit it <laughs> sell on offer up offer up let's go ebay posh mosh uh even facebook marketplace we're like right here we can sell right, right. there and so start looking at your house look I said, go get a brown box and start packing as if you was going to move in your house like next week. And look at the right. things. Everything that's in our house is money that we can convert. So go sell it. Go sell something. We got to get in the house. That's number two. Number three is sell digital products. Like we're all good at something. Yeah. Write an ebook. Sell yeah. it. Sell a digital product. We got, everybody got Google Docs. Start typing it up. Use the platform I love. You know, you got you got PayHip. I absolutely that platform I like. And you can just upload it and you get paid and you use that money to for your down payment. So we're all good at something, no matter what it is. Right. If you're a mother, right. hey, you could write an ebook, how to be a, a first time mother. You know, how do you go online? We're all good at something. And so why not get paid for it? Why not monetize right. that skill set? So, hey, we got Google Docs, start talking, maybe 10 steps to, you know, freedom or 10 steps how you, you know, set yourself right. up to be a homeowner. It could be anything. Sell something, mm -hmm. turn into a digital product. That's number three. Mm -hmm. And number four is I love this time of the year because it's what it's, it's, it's October, November, December. So if you're a crafter, if you, you're crafty, hey, this is a great time to go sell something to bring that money back in the house. If you like to knit, it's about to be the winter season. People like blankets. People are having babies, knits and blankets and some booties, whatever it may be. Take right. that money. Put it in a savings account and so we can get in the house. It's all about getting in the house. It ain't about mm -hmm. you no more. It's about the house. And so here right. he is. 
if your art like Christmas trees. I know people who make wreaths for the doors. I mean, if you don't know how, yeah. go on YouTube. Let YouTube, YouTube. be your best friend <laughs> and begin to right. create those things so you can sell right. in the marketplace like Etsy at the flea market. Again, we right. have Facebook is a free platform where you can sell stuff all day long. That's number yeah. four. Number five is hey, go ahead, be an Uber driver, be a Lyft driver. Right. Ain't nothing wrong or with Uber. that. I did Uber. it. I sucked. <laughs> I'm not consistent no. with it, right? I'm not consistent <laughs> with it. But when you need money, you got to do some things. Your why, right? Mm -hmm. It's got to mm -hmm. be so strong that you don't care how you get the money to get in your house. So if you got right. to Uber drive, if you got to do DoorDash, if you got to deliver food, whatever it may be, do it to bring that mm -hmm. money back in the house. That's number mm -hmm. five. Number six is I love this. Be an affiliate. Yeah. If you like something, we already talk about how we like it. Might as well get paid for sharing sharing to other people. And so the websites that you often visit, scroll down to the bottom. If it says become affiliate partner, then go ahead, sign up. It's absolutely free. And then you get paid commission. I love it. Whatever it is. I think Walmart yeah. has an affiliate a partnership at the yeah. bottom of it. Hey, if you like something, I'm like, hey, go buy this. You see this ring light? It's absolutely beautiful. And right. when you click on it, they're going to pay me a little commission, and I'm going to take the commission and put it in the house, right? That's Look, I'm an, I'm an affiliate for Target. Ah, see, babe, <laughs> So I always share things that I get from Target. And so, look, that's number six. And number seven is be a VA, a virtual system. We're already online. There's so many people who need your help, like being mm -hmm. organized, sending emails. Probably just really, if y'all seen some of my posts, sometimes it'll be like jacked up. My sister is not my VA, but she tell me like, you know, you spelled that wrong, that word wrong. You know, you can see me like screenshotting me for like for real. Like, hey, we can do a <laughs> virtual assistant and get some money for it. And so the bottom line is making sure that we have the funds to get into our house in a year. So remember, mm -hmm. as I begin, if you can generate a career eight or save at least $2,500 each month consistent for the 12 months, you will have the 30000 20% on it, what I say, mm -hmm. $150,000 house without stressing about it. Right doing these right. seven things and there's so many side mm -hmm. hustles out there but these seven things i said all oh, these are quick this is easy this is something that you yeah. don't have to think twice about like what platform or what i need to do go ahead get your money together so you can get in the keys and so yes. now if you can look she wants you in the home right right she would have brought me right. on here if she did not want you in your home definitely i love finding ways to help people get into their home I mean, because a lot of people have been paying rent for so long, like forever. Right. So thank you, Delshawn, for sharing those seven tips. I think my favorite one is um, selling on OfferUp and Let Go and actually getting that box and putting things in. Because when, like you said, when you get ready to move, what are you going to do with all of this extra stuff? So you might as well sell it and make money now. So. Right. And I, and, I, and I offer a course how to sell and flip on OfferUp. I've been doing this since 2015. But when you get in that new home, you're like, this ain't my color scheme. This cow stuff, you know, all this stuff. Like, this don't even look, these mix nights don't even go with this and things like right. that. So just get rid of it. Just right, of definitely. It. Definitely. And another thing is, um, if they're first time home buyers, they're only have to, having to save three and a half percent down. You mm -hmm. don't even have to get the four for 20 cent, 20 percent. Right. Unless you don't want that um, PMI interest, but that's a whole different topic. But <laughs> a lot of guys, a lot of you guys only have to save three and a half percent. And all of the tips that Delshine gave today can help you get to that pretty quickly. Let's see, we have a question. How much should you save each month? So it depends on the price of the home or the price range that, price range that you're looking in. So just say, for example, if you're getting a home, just like Delshine said, for um, $150,000, you would have to have 3.5% down as a first-time home buyer. Um, some banks, if it's your second home, you'll have to have 5% down, and it's up to 20%. But it depends on you, your credit, and uh, your goals eventually. But you'll have to give me a call or message me to find out specifically what your range would be. Right, and and you just said that, and you know, I just got my calculator. You know, <laughs> uh, you would just see it. Just example, like one hundred fifty thousand dollars times three percent uh, down. That's forty five hundred dollars. 
Right. And I teach you, or you can go on my YouTube channel where yes. you can do just thinking about this saving, like doing the hundred dollar envelope challenge, you can save over five thousand right. dollars in in within. You don't even have to do it a whole year. So what you do really quickly, I know we got time. Uh, we're trying to, okay. you know, make sure that we're monitoring the time is take a hundred envelopes, white envelopes in, in a number one through a hundred and each envelope mm -hmm. you pick out, you put that dollar amount. So if you pick out envelope 45, you put $45 in there and you're going to be wow. able to, and you don't have to do it every time you get paid is when you get that free money. I call it opportunity money. And you'll be able mm -hmm. to save over $5,000 just using a $100 envelope system. Wow. Good, great tip. Now, is that on your YouTube channel? Yes, yeah, on my YouTube channel. Okay. And so I'll, so I'll come back and I'll put the link in, in this uh, live. But yeah, that okay. give them 100 white envelopes, number one to 100. And then you mm -hmm. put 100, you put a one, that's $100. And that's over $5,000. And you don't have to wait till a whole year. You can do it whenever you get money. You get $8, wow. put, it, put it in the $8 envelope. I love, love, love that tip. And another thing is a lot of times um, people are not sure if they're, they're able to pay a specific mortgage. So if you say that you're comfortable with paying, um, just say, for example, $1,500 a month and your um, current rent is $1,000 a month, Make sure you're saving that extra $500 a month. If you're not in a place where you're able to pay that $1,000 rent and save that extra $500, you're not going to be comfortable right. with paying a $1,500 mortgage. Right. And then at the end, if you're saving $500 per month for that entire year, you can use that towards your down payment on your new home. So Exactly. Yeah. 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 I and so, exactly, because what we don't want you to do is get in there and be house poor, you know, on a budget right. guideline, Dave Ramsey budget guideline, like you don't want to, you know, be in a home that's 35% over your income, 35% mm -hmm. over your income. But again, mm -hmm. if you start budgeting in a way that you're already in a home, mm -hmm. it gets a lot easier when you get in a home because no longer, right. you know, now you're your own maintenance person. Uh, I know how to solder pipes. I know how to change a hot water heater tank. I mean, I had to do a lot. I'm 15 years in home ownership being single, so it was a lot of things I had to learn. But when I started before I got in the house, I began to budget in a way that when I got in the house, I could. Because then I was like, man, I got to pay water? Oh, man, I got to pay sanitation? I got to pay this? It was a lot of things that I was shocked to me, right? And so wonder nobody right. like you sharing this information with you know, new homers. When I did, when I get, became a homeowner in 2003, so what are nobody mm -hmm. talking about this? We didn't have Facebook. We didn't have mm -hmm. you and the great relatives <laughs> really feeding us and serving yeah. us in a way that yeah. preparing us for the real world. It's real. Right. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm glad that we have so many connections online. We're able to see um, what can happen before it happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, <laughs> because we're seeing so many posts on Facebook where people are like, oh, I wish I would have known this before I bought a home. And I, you didn't have that, like you said, back in 2003. You're just hearing the normal conversations of your day-to-day -day friends and family, but you see everything on Facebook. Now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, Delsha. Thank Let you. everybody know. For, well, when we're done, I want you to come back and drop your links. Um, to how they can, can connect with you and to get that offer up course. Okay. Uh, also, um, but let everybody know verbally how they can um, connect with you um, on social media. I am on all social media. Even my church babies got me on Snapchat. <laughs> right? What? <laughs> <laughs> at, at Delshawn Hayes. So it's, it's at Delshawn nice. Hayes across the board. My personal page is Delshawn Renee Hayes. And so uh, you can okay. also follow me there on my personal page. Uh, also, uh, if you want to join my tribe, we're called the money controllers that we spend with intention. We save on yeah. purpose and we're, in control of how much money that we want to earn. So we welcome you if you want to engage, if you want to know more about budgeting, how to save, how to slay those debt monkeys. So you can get in your right. home, like in 2019. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's already, it's just like here, right, to me, anyway. Right. It, it's already done, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Dale Shine, thank for you. joining us. All righty. Okay. And have a good afternoon. If anybody wants more information, um, 
after Delshawn drops her links, then go ahead and PM her directly or PM me. Okay. All right. All right. Talk to you Take soon. care, everybody. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Bye.